He's not your typical veterinary patient. Nevada is a male cougar, sedated for the moment, so Dr. Stephanie McCain can take a blood sample to check his kidneys. We see a lot of kidney disease, um, we see a lot of joint problems and arthritis and, and stuff like that that you would expect an older animal to get. McCain jokes she hasn't touched a dog or house cat in years. She specializes in exotic animals like the residents of Tiger Haven near Kingston. UT's College of Veterinary Medicine works with the Big Cat Sanctuary to provide health care service and treat emergency situations. We usually spend about one to two days a week with Tiger Haven either coming out here or if they bring a cat into UT, um, if it needs x-rays or anything more advanced. Fourth year vet student Morgan Mander is helping today, part of her academic training as an animal doc. Just such a large collection of exotic cats, so it's a great opportunity to be exposed to all kinds of hands-on opportunities um, that, that you, don't, you don't normally see in the classroom. Tiger Haven is home to 280 big cats. A number of these animals are older, and that's why the work of the UT vets is so important to maintain the overall health and quality of life for these cats. Here in rural Roan County, where bamboo is planted next to honeysuckle, now and then you'll hear this echo through the trees. It's truly amazing to see all these magnificent creatures in one setting. These cats came from private owners, circuses, roadside zoos, some rescued from abusive or bad situations from all over the country. Some were malnourished, injured, or diseased when they arrived here. The university is learning a lot yeah. and sharing it a lot with other zoos and facilities on the big cat medicine. Co-founder Mary Lynn Haven says her facility relies on the UT Vet School to keep these cats healthy. I don't know what I'd do without them and their facility, their expertise. Uh, it's just been so, we have the best vet care of any of the sanctuaries anywhere. These beautiful cats are nature's royalty and with good nutrition and care, they should live long, happy lives here. This is Chuck Denny reporting.